March is Women's History Month, and here at MCTV, we're celebrating the milestones that the women in our county have achieved, the diverse voices and experiences of those who have lived here for decades, as well as those who may have just made Monroe County, Florida home, have a wealth of insight and experiences to share with our community. Be inspired as MCTV celebrates Women's History Month. Well, my name is Terry Johnston, and my role in the city of Key West is I'm mayor, and have been mayor now for three terms. Inspiration. Who has inspired you to do the work that you are accomplishing today and why? The national and local women who have put themselves out there uh, to do the right things and to make the right hard decisions. And just coming to mind, some of the local women are certainly Shirley Freeman, Heather Carruthers, Sylvia Murphy, Holly Rushine. Kamala Harris, certainly. There are just so many strong women right now in the House and the Senate that, uh, that I look up to for making the tough decisions. Challenges. What types of challenges did you face when you chose to pursue the role you hold today, and how did you overcome them? There's a number of challenges for, for women in positions of power. Uh, right now, you know, there's there's still a level of discrimination out there. Uh, people not believing that women can can fulfill the responsibilities of a position in power. I know, hopefully, that has been proved wrong over and over and over again. Uh, but those are are some of the obstacles. I think some of the obstacles in the city of Key West are, you know, the fact that we have been here 23 years and we were not born here. And I think that that brings with it some obstacles also which I think uh, certainly are being overcome uh, basically because of our demographic change. Uh, about 95% of our residents and our taxpayers in Key West actually came from somewhere else, uh, drawn to this beautiful city for you know a myriad of reasons. But I, I think that that always helps also. But those are the basic two challenges, just simply being a woman and then being a woman from uh, not born and raised in Key West. Fulfillment. Share one event in your life that has brought or given you the greatest satisfaction or fulfillment in your career or personal life. The greatest satisfaction, um, I was named three-time uh, college All-American. Um, I played softball at John F. Kennedy College and we received some of the first uh, athletic scholarships that were given to women in the United States. In fact, we had a, a major role in uh, creating Title IX. So that, that really, as you look back upon it, you know, 50 years ago, uh, gave me great pleasure. I didn't realize it at the time, but, but, but now as, as women have opportunities and have opportunities to go to college and to play pro basketball and softball, it, it really means a lot to me right now. Advice. What advice would you give to women entering the workforce or pursuing another career? What non-career related advice would you like to share? Women need to understand what an incredible contribution they make to any environment, whether it's work, nonprofit, you know, uh, corporate, uh, community. Uh, women add a, an incredible aspect to each one of these things. Uh, you know, so much of it is based on the fact that, you know, Many of us have, have raised families and uh, we've had to make some very difficult decisions, uh, had to balance a lot of different balls in the air at the same time, while probably being judged more critically in many cases than men. And I, I think women need to realize what an incredible uh, force that they bring to anything that they choose to enter. I believe that, that women have such a strong role in informing America and and doing the right things, making the difficult decisions, uh, uh, doing things for the long-term best interest of whoever they work for. I'm just so pleased with where women are and women are going to be in the next 10 years.